Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Barbara, and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look using the ColourPop Baroque palette. I've had this for a while. I know I'm a little late, but this is my first time playing with it, and I cannot wait to show you how I got this look. Now, before we get into the video, if you're new here, please go ahead and join the family. Click that subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I upload twice a week and my videos include hauls, reviews, tutorials, beauty related, as well as some fitness sprinkled in. So if that's what you're into, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I am sorry I am so late doing this video. It has been sitting in my bin of my to-dos, I guess you can call it. And I just, I've had so much stuff coming up, but I'm here and it's time. So this is what the palette looks like. I still have my box, beautiful packaging. This is the ColourPop Baroque palette. It retails for $14. It is a nine pan palette. And these are the shades. The shade names are on the inside and they are also on the back of the palette so that's great for us to tell you the names i will do swatches for you later i'm sure you've seen them but i'm just ready to get into the eye look so definitely doing a cool toned look there is one shade in here called ritzy which is this shade here and then also noble which is a duochrome this is ritzy this is noble I ain't even gonna lie I'm gonna put noble all over my lid and probably ritzy in my inner corner just giving you guys an idea of the direction I'm thinking of going but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes I'm going to use my NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in the shade medium you guys have seen me use this before I was tempted to just use concealer but I'm going to use this most of the time when I do eyeshadow looks, so I want it to be fair. And then I just blend this out with my concealer brush. And now that I have this blended out, I'm going to go ahead and put a very light dusting of powder. And I'm just using my RCMA No Color Powder to help set it and help the colors blend better. And then I'm also gonna put that under my eyes because I don't know what fallout is gonna be like for this palette. So since my base is done, I wanna make sure to protect that. So now I'm gonna move in closer so you guys can actually see the application. I don't wanna be too, too all in your face, but you know. So first I'm gonna start with the shade Bebe which is this one up here. I'm gonna go in with a light hand because this does look a little dark and I don't want this to get too out of control as a transition shade. I probably should have went in. I might go around it with a bronzer color just to help it blend a little better, but we'll see. There is a little kick up in the pan but that's not anything out of the norm so i'm okay with that i feel like once i'm laying it down it's like sticking it's not really buffing out so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I'm just trying to build up a little more in the crease and then blend it out towards my brow but it's not really blending out if you can see that next i'm going to take a smaller brush and i'm going to take the shade lounge which is down here do i want to go lounge or stunner Let's do stunner. Stunners, this is more like a brown. 
This one's more like a brown. This one's more leaning towards blue. So let's do Stunner. A lot of kick up on that one. My pan. But it is dark. Whoa. I feel like this one is definitely spreading a little easier in terms of blending. Like it is just going. I'm patting down the color first and then blending it out to try to minimize the fallout. I'm going to do a halo eye and I'm going to put some of this shade stunner also in the inner corner. It's so dark but it's definitely like a bluish gray very very pretty shade I don't know that I've done a halo eye on my channel I don't think I have yet I don't do them often I feel like they don't turn out right so <laughs> we're gonna see I love how it looks when other people do them though so I think we've got a good base set here I know I definitely need to go and blend around the edges more, but I do not want to do it with this brush because I do not want this darker shade to get too far up. I do see a little bit of fallout, but not much at all. It's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more of my NARS and I'm going to put that right in the center to brighten that back up again. And now we're going to go in with Noble. I have to use this color. I've seen it on so many people and I think it looks beautiful. So I'm going to start with my brush, but we'll see if I need to use my finger. That's coming off a lot lighter than I expected, but still very, very pretty. Y'all know how I love duochrome shades. So I'm just packing that on. I have not wet my brush. And also blending it into the stunner shade. So now, right in the very, very center, I'm going to go in with Ritzy here at the top. Same brush and just pat that right in the middle. Just to kind of help give it some more dimension. And then, I really want to use this shade Secret. It's a matte with shimmer packed in it. And I want to use that around the edges. Hopefully it'll keep some of the shimmer. This is also a very powdery shade. I'm putting that just to help blend all of our shades together. That shade is very pretty. I 
All right, so we got to do something about these edges. I like how everything else looks. Maybe I'm going to try a different brush and see. I still am using a fluffy brush, but I'm going to go back with a first shade, Bebe, and just try to blend out around here a little bit more. That looks better. Yeah, maybe we just didn't like that other brush. You see a difference? All right, so now I'm gonna go on my bottom lash line and I'm gonna take Stunner again. And I'm just gonna put that along my lash line. I'm gonna go in with Etiquette. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm gonna try that one and see how that looks. Well, that's a little silver. No, I'm gonna stay with Secret. I'm gonna stay with Secret, which is the shade we use to blend at the end. That has a little bit of glitter in it. I feel like that glitter's falling out. And then I'm gonna go in with Ritzy at the inner corner on the bottom. I'm gonna take, I just wanna see if it's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna take Noble on my finger and see if that has more color payoff. I don't see that it makes that much of a difference. Maybe a little bit. So I'm taking that right on the outside and then I'm gonna go back with Ritzy in the center just to make that pop again. I like this color though. I should have just used my finger to begin with. And now I'm gonna use Ritzy on a different finger and just right in the center. And then on a small brush, I'm gonna take Stunner and just go around the edge to redefine that. Almost like we did a cut crease, but not. So I'm gonna dust away my bake. All right, so this is where we're stopping so far. This is the eye look. I'm gonna put on my liner and my mascara and my lashes and I'll be back. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I put on mascara and then I have on a pair of my magnetic lashes. It is the Kiss Charm Lashes. I went with something not too big because I didn't wanna take away from the eye look. So I just wanted to be able to see all the colors, all the shifts, all the dimensions. So we kept the lashes pretty simple, but I love how this look turned out. The only shade that I had a little trouble with, which you guys saw was Bebe. And then honestly, I think when I switched my brush, I was fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you swatches real quick of the other shades, just so you can see. I'm sure you've seen them, but not from me. So first I'm gonna show you Bougie. So that's the shade there. Then Ritzy, which you saw me put on the center of my lid. That is the shade there. I'll go ahead and try to swatch that again. Then here is Bebe, which was our transition shade. That one is very dark, very opaque. Then Secret. I'm trying to swatch these and like not have them look crazy like I've done in the past. What you see there. Then the next shade is Noble, which you also saw me use today. So that's one of the duochromes. This one's kind of a duochrome too. And then we have Etiquette, 
which I did not use this one. Then we have Lounge, which I did not use this one today either. So that's the one that I said looked more brown and you can definitely see that. Then we have Grand. That one has some glitter in it, which you can't really see. I guess you can see it a little bit, but it's one of the ones that if you buff it out, the glitter is going to come out. And then last but not least, we have Stunner, which you did see me use. Which kind of looks similar, just doesn't have the glitter in it. So those are all the shades in the palette right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed this look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I like this halo eye. Smoky, a little different, but I think it's really, really cute. I'm definitely going to have to do this more often. If you like the way the look turned out, please give this video a thumbs up. And like I said before, if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you join the family. So please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!